Hello, welcome back to these battle videos. So this one is a terrible one, really. <laughs> it's against Toshi, off of Japan somewhere, I think. And it's basically a lesson in bad prediction, non-predictions, and stalling in VGC. <laughs> so, I don't think I made a correct decision this entire battle. Uh, that's my lasting memory of it. Um, the guy made a load of switches that I didn't predict a at all, and various things like that. Various attacks that I didn't really think about at all, and it, it was... It, what, I mean, what it showed really was how even if you're you're playing badly and you've had a bad day, uh, you you can still sort of hang in there. Don't just forfeit when it looks like it's the end because you know you can you can still do it. You can do it. So when all this was fairly obvious, I, I keep on forgetting about um, Scrafty's fake out ability. Um, so instantly Kangas Khan is burned. And I didn't get the tailwind up or anything. I just and I didn't get m more than fifty percent on that Gorgeist, uh, fifty percent damage. So I think, yeah, what Kangas can screw you. <laughs> I think I'm just going to um, air slash from Togekiss deals with both of these fairly well. Um, the Dream Punch would have been super effective on Kangas can, but pretty fine there. Of course, the advantage of switching out as well is that the predict the fighting move and Togekiss double resists that. I don't know whether I did predict that or just was thinking offensively, because as I said, it wasn't wasn't very good. <laughs> I did go for the, I did decide to go for the Tailwind on this occasion though, which is what the the follow me is about. And there is aforementioned Tailwind, so I, I do get that up, which certainly helped with the uh, the the Swampert there. But not good. <laughs> And meanwhile, you know, all the damage that I'm not doing against this Gorgeist is just slowly being recovered. Thanks to Leech Seed and Leftovers. Next turn then we see a Protect come out, so it could stall even more health back. And of course I didn't I didn't predict that, which is a bit silly. Uh, because of Snarl. And I, I don't know whether this Marsh Stomp uh, Swampert is physical or special now, because you, you see such a mix. Because I'm worried about Ice Beam, so I'm thinking Snarl would be good here to prevent against that. But as it happens... It's a physical one, which is the more likely one, to be honest. I was a bit, I was a bit of a in a bit of a pickle, to be honest. I don't know what I was doing. And now Togekiss is in a bad shape, and Gorgeist is back at full HP, so it's not going well. So, but you know what? I've had enough of this. <laughs> Arcanine can come in. I'm not going to get a waterfall on that spot straight away, and I'll get the Intimidate on it as well, which is good. Next turn, of course, I can burn it, as long as will o -Wisp doesn't miss, of course. <laughs> i just go for Wide Guard, though. I'm not really sure what he's uh, predicting there. Overheat, maybe? But it, in the end, I, I go for a Rooster. Yeah, I didn't think of that, actually. In hindsight, yeah, he probably was predicting the Overheat. But, um, a Rooster's good. I mean, he goes for... No, because he, he did that the turn I... S the other turn, he's, he did that before I switched in, so I don't really know... I mean, I'm a bit, I'm a bit lost there to be honest. But anyway, he comes back out. It's a little bit weird. I don't know what's going on. I do get the Willow Whisper away though. Willow Whisper away. <laughs> Which is good because of course, um, what's he called? What's his face? Scrafty is a physical attacker. And the flinch, of course. This is what's the what's so great about Togekiss and that combination of. Um, Tailwind and air slash from a Tokyo case is fantastic. Love it. <laughs> As you can see, it does a damn, damn sight more than um, even Suicune's did. It's like I get stabbed there, and um, I think he's I mean, he's got a really good special attack even without any investment, as this one has. This is number seven, so it's all invested in defenses and nothing in attack or speed. So. Again, this was a terrible prediction because I was going for the Helping Hand Stroke Dazzling Gleam. But, just like nothing... Yeah, I forgot about Fake Out. It was, I, yeah, I was all over the place. I'm, I'm putting this one up. Just number one, because I won. And number two, because it, it kind of shows that, you know, not every game goes well. Sometimes you're just, you're just, you're just terrible. <laughs> Do you get a Will-O-Wisp though onto that um, 
Marsh Dump. So it's n it hasn't got been intimidated anymore. But um, I keep on calling it Marsh Dump. It's a swamper. It hasn't been intimidated anymore. But now it's even worse because it's been burned. Interesting though that it goes for an earthquake and not um not a waterfall. Because I mean, sure, Togekiss is you know it's roosting, so you can get damage away on it. But it's a spread move, and you know. Just attack Arcanine. I, I mean, spread moves can be great. Like, Rock Slide, for example, is, is brilliant. And that's something I don't have on my team as a Rock Slider. I was debating whether to give Kangas Cam Rock Slide, but it seems kind of pointless, really. You don't need one. It's just quite useful. It can get you out of sticky situations and so on. I think with spread moves, you need a stab user. It's like a ground user using Earthquake or, a, you know, a Terrakum, for example, is a Rock Type using Rock Slide because the stab makes up for the, the seventh... The, Reduction in damage you get from a spread move because it does it does 75% of its true uh, of, its, of its base power when it hits more than one target that I haven't been following this battle at all, so I hope you have <laughs> I am tempted by Terrakion. It does look like a very really useful Pokemon. I'm just not sure where it would fit in on my team I probably um mm. It's got so many weaknesses though. It's a rock and fighting type and I think for, for my team, I like to have as few weaknesses and as many resistances as possible. And even though Terrakion is a great offensive threat, I don't, I just don't really, I, I, I doesn't, the, all the weaknesses don't really fit with me. Even though I'd love to have that, you know, rock slide shenanigans and, and all that. It just doesn't really work. But yeah, so I'm in a, I'm in a kind of a bad position. Although I have burned those two, so they'll be slowly losing health. Although granted, um, uh, Swampert is getting a bit back through that leech seed. However, both of the Pokemon I've got out do have recovery moves. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and leftovers. And now, of course, they know if they super affect my Togekiss uh, with any damage at all, then I'm going to double my special attack because they, they frisked me earlier and saw my weakness policy, which is what that item does. Ba bum bum, ba bum bum, ba bum ba bum, ba bum bum. So Arcanine comes back. What did I do? Suicune again for the Tailwind? Yes. Because these two that are out at the moment don't threaten Suicune at all, especially not whilst burned. And this is the advantage of having a bulky burner. Is that you can, a bulky burner is that you can just you can just spread those will-o'-wisps like to your heart's content and all the while they don't can't do anything to you. You take out the you know, you, you will-o'-wisp the more um What's it called? The more, um, the more, oh, the more, the more threatening one. That wasn't the word I was looking for, but you know, the, the more immediate threat. That's the one. First, and then that can't hurt you whilst you win with the other one. It's pretty good. Of course, protects will just negate that <laughs> entirely. Yeah. So now, of course, I'm just going for flinches, um, because I'm thinking Scrappy doesn't threaten me here at all. So, and it's about to faint. Uh, from the burn, so I would rather just flinch the Swampert and let the Scrap to faint. And I do get the flinch, which is good. Thank you, Togekiss. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping it faints from burn, and, and luckily I, I got my, my my calculations were correct. Yeah, so it was at least an eighth of its health there. Sorry, at most. So now we see that the final one of opponent's ball is a Latios. This is interesting, and of course there he's predicting the uh, the dazzling gleam, and that's very interesting. Choice scarf trick Latios, that's very interesting. But of course I, I know it has wide guard, so I didn't go for the dazzling gleam in the end. I thought I would just try and flinch it because uh, Swampert is burned, so doesn't matter. And of course on the off chance he doesn't use wide guard, I'll go for a snarl. But in the end. He did. <laughs> Snarl, of course, super effects uh, Latios, and it'll lower, and lower that special attack would be really useful. Now that he has locked me into Air Slash, which, I mean, Air Slash with a Choice Scarf. <laughs> I, I, I suppose I see what he was doing. It is quite a neat little trick there, uh, pun intended, to lock me into something that he can guard against with Wide Guard. But, I mean, it's only every other turn, isn't it? And Ice Beam super effects him, so it's no problem. Shrugged off the Draco Meteor. <laughs> Jigen's still hanging in there. Very physically defensive, this one. It's 
there, the final one there, is your, is your man Gorgeist. And he did actually forfeit there, which was interesting. Um, now I remember why I saved this one, because it was kind of like, well, anything could happen, but no, nope, forfeit. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe he just got fed up, because this battle went on for about 25, 26 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. Hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, there'll be some better ones coming up. I think the next one is not very good either, but it's got a good ending. But the one after that is, is superb. I actually jumped up and down, so look forward to that. <laughs>